So, while the government insists the election will go ahead, these people are determined to stop it. They might look like they think they can dance their way to victory, but the carnival atmosphere masks a real and growing concern about where all of this is heading. But have a look at this. On the other side of this barricade from where the speech is blaring out is the new headquarters of the student network, set up here just a short distance from Government House. And as you can see from the sandbags, the car tyres and the scaffold poles, this looks more like a front line than a protest camp, although the leader of the group insists it's purely defensive. It's like this, Nititorn Lamlua tells me. When we go anywhere, we raise our hands what we get back in return from the police is tear gas and bullets. But this is the student network taking on the police a few weeks ago. There are few raised hands here. And with compromise now seemingly so unreachable, more of this can't be ruled out. For now, the protests are overwhelmingly peaceful, but this crisis has become a zero-sum game. This side is convinced that their government is corrupt. The government believes its democratic mandate is being stolen. Thailand is dancing into a very uncertain future. John Sudworth, BBC News, Bangkok.